Like I've been saying in my other videos, the Buddhists and the psychologists believe what we don't like about things out in the world is a reflection of ourselves and thus something we don't like about ourselves. Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church are funeral picketers. And I would bet you're one of those who have a problem with that. You don't like funeral picketing. You don't like funeral picketers. You have a problem with that part of yourself. Instead of dealing with it, you take it out on Fred Phelps and his crew. There is indeed a funeral picketer in all of us. Ever speak ill of the dead? There's an old saying, old advice, don't speak ill of the dead. Yet most people do that. Sometimes it's about public figures who are long gone. Still a lot of people are trash talking Ronald Reagan. Sometimes it's about people close to you. For example, my dad did not go to my grandmother's funeral because my stepmom did not want him to. And worse yet, my dad said he wanted to piss on the grave of my grandmother. Isn't that like funeral picketing? It sure sounds like it. When I was in high school, I attended a funeral. I haven't attended too many funerals in my life. At this funeral, my coach said, I don't like these things. And indeed, that's the way many people view funerals. They don't like them. It was something that probably didn't need to be said because isn't that assumed that people don't like funerals? Funeral picketing is thus transform transformative. Funeral picketing takes the one feeling, the feeling of sadness, which is so heavy during funerals. If you ever gone to a funeral, you will notice that people are so very sad about losing a loved one. The tension is so thick with sadness in the air, you could cut it with a knife. When Westboro Baptist Church shows up and they pick at a funeral, other emotions arise, like shock, revulsion, and of course, anger. It helps dissipate the sadness and breaks the sadness. People like Wayne Dyer say we shouldn't dislike our enemies because our enemies are really teaching us something. Wayne Dyer is one of those who says our enemies are really our best teachers. So you should be thankful that Westboro Baptist Church is picketing a funeral because they're teaching you a great lesson in the process. You should also be thankful that you are at a funeral Ever hear the saying, I was sad I had no shoes until I met someone with no feet? That's the positive attitude. You are not looking at it in a positive way when you are very sad at funerals. Instead of being so sad that you lost a loved one, you should be happy that you have a loved one to lose. Some of us don't have many, if any, loved ones to lose. That's why Westboro Baptist's sign, God Hates Your Tears, is so appropriate. Buddhists additionally believe that death isn't something to be feared. They view it as rebirth. Instead of being sad, they say you should be liberated. You're getting rid of one stage and moving on to the next, they say. That's a way to look at it. 
Surely lots of people are saying because of all the picketing Fred Phelps has done at funerals, I'm going to picket his funeral. So far, ever since the funeral picketing has begun, no Westboro Baptist Church member has died that I've heard of, and they seem to rarely ever get sick. Maybe they're right. Maybe they are correct in suggesting that God is blessing them. How else could you explain it? But they're not immoral, so someday they will die. Fred Phelps is probably the first one to go. He's 80 years old now, and his time could be any time. So you're going to pick at his funeral. Number one, that would make you just as bad as he is, and thus we get back to my main point, that you really are a funeral picketer yourself. And secondly, do you really believe Westboro Baptist Church is going to give that bait to their opponents? I don't think so.